Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Hellboy Winter Special, the Yule Cat number one. This is a new book from Dark Horse Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. Uh, of course, based on characters by Mike Mignola, but this story and art by Matt Smith with colors by Chris, Chris, Chris O'Halloran, letters by Clem Robbins. Now, I love a good holiday comic book winter special uh, and who else but to bring in Hellboy into this world. So in this issue, Hellboy travels to Reykjavik, uh, where children are disappearing and a giant beast has been spotted. Could the infamous Yule Cat of Icelandic lore um, be behind all this? Fan favorite Hellboy artist Matt Smith writes and draws a chilling wintry one shot. Uh, yeah, this is just a really fun mystery. I think there's a lot of layers on top of this that Matt Smith really unfolds very um, at a really good pace, very efficiently, but also like while bringing into the story. Of course, the stakes are high as children are disappearing. Uh, now, I've never heard of the Yule Cat as far as like in mythology, but bringing that into this world and knowing that it's based on local folklore of the of the place. I think that's a really cool concept. Uh, and of course, uh, we have these quiet moments where like Hellboy just talking to the people, trying to understand what's going on. And of course, things are going to kind of escalate towards the issue. But it's really nice to see this more, this softer side of Hellboy, which we don't often get to see because for the most part, he has to be punching things. Uh, now, let's take a look at some of the art. And I really like, when an artist is is capable just to do a complete book i think that's a it's a very interesting talent to be both a good writer and uh, a great artist creatively so uh, i really like the exposition of how we're setting up the town uh and the little birds talking uh and then of course we have hellboy having a conversation with the locals trying to figure out what's going on uh of course hellboy is usually reluctant to try to help uh but i feel like you know, it'll eventually get there. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really love this. Like I said, I like the more quiet moments in Hellboy. Um, sometimes they're really nice to be to offset the pace of a big bombastic story, which we'll definitely get into as the mystery evolves. So uh, really fun one shot. If you like Hellboy, I think this is a must read. Uh, if you're looking for just a fun holiday thing to read, uh, this, is, this is just as good as anything else you could pick up at the shop. Uh, so yeah, really fun stuff. Uh, and then you get to learn a little bit more of some uh, local lore that you may not be aware of. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, overall, really enjoyed this. Highly recommend. I love these Hellboy. I'm not a big Hellboy reader where I've read everything, but I do love these like little one shots that kind of allow me to check in with the character every once in a while. Uh, and then wrapping this up into a winter holiday special. I mean, it just makes sense. So if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.